Jessica Negri, a New Zealand American cosplayer, celebrity, promotional model, YouTuber, voice actress, fan convention interview correspondent, flashed onto our screens in early 2009 and in my personal experience rolled onto my screens as part of Philip DeFranco and him shining his spotlight on her. Her initial early life was a mix of gaming, anime and cosplay. This was to be the basis, the foundation of her ongoing success going forward. She went viral with her image of sexy Pikachu and this kind of spawned the whole start of that whole niche. The idea of geek being chic, geek being sexy, geek and cosplay working. I mean, it's everywhere nowadays. You see everyone dressing up as everything because geek culture is now the thing. Thanks to the whole Marvel universe, everyone is used to cosplay being standard, accepted. But in 2009 and before that, it was kind of nerdy and in a seedy, dirty way. So as she broke the scenes in San Diego Comic-Con in 2009 with her sexy Pikachu, a star was born. Over the next two years, she was growing in popularity, attending more conferences, increasing her social media following, even winning several cosplay competitions. This is where she flashed across my screens with Philip DeFranco and frankly, I'm a, a red bloody male. So she's an attractive young lady that is nerdy sexy so it, it attracted an audience a following a very feverish following and she wasn't the only one within that scene but she was fairly prominent she was around on youtube youtube was amplifying her reach in 2012 she became a prominent figure within the cosplay community attending more and more conventions winning more and more cosplay competitions leveraging her social media like facebook and twitter and instagram to share their cosplays significantly growing her audience fan base her photography was made for social media thirsty guys instagram likes all that kind of thing in 2012 she started working as a spokesperson for video game companies wearing costumes of gameplay characters at conferences i mean that's the best way to go get sponsored to go get paid to do what you wish pick a character that you like to play with that's already got some form of IP and power behind them and then you're known as that person. She also took on voice acting, providing another avenue for her talents beyond cosplay. Moving into 2013, 2015, she became a staple guest in conventions worldwide, showcasing her new costumes, interacting with fans, launches a YouTube channel to share her cosplay builds, vlogs and other aspects of her life, further increasing her fan base. Once again, this is now where the social nerd revolution had finally hit and everybody was finding these cosplayers because cosplay was everywhere. 2016 to 2018, she collaborated with companies such as Kawakata Games, I've butchered the pronunciation of that, Warner Brothers Games, among others, to create cosplays for their promotions and became a Patreon creator, generating exclusive content and significant part of her income. If you're not quite sure what Patreon is, it's like OnlyFans, but without the tits, or in this case, just cosplay tits. As things rolled forward into 2019, she took on more voice acting roles, including popular video game series RWBY, where she voices the character Cinderfall, but then we slammed into COVID territory. So in 2020, 2021, with the pandemic restricting public gatherings, Negri decided to adapt by focusing on digital content creation online community engagement and finally re-emerged to conventions in 2022. But what happened to Jessica Negri? As of 2023, she got slammed with the realization of the new world, which was the backlash to her original content. The sexy Pikachu was now sexualization in cosplay. Although she continues to create cosplay to today, engaging in voice acting and exploring new media opportunities, in the past they was juggling with whether or not sexy cosplays were the right tone to set. It has its fans and it has its detractors. She also bumped up against accuracy and artistic license. Some hardcore fans in the franchises have noticed her taking much too much artistic license with costumes, arguing that they should sometimes do not faithfully represent the characters. As of now, she remains highly active on various social media platforms with a loyal following who appreciate her regular posts and interactions. She continues to innovate her costumes, often pushing to the boundaries of the craft, and continues to do voice acting. 
Hall. Overall, the legacy and impact of Jessica Negri cannot be ignored. She was a pioneer in the cosplay community, influencing the standards and expectations of cosplay as a form of art and entertainment. She broke barriers as part of bringing cosplay to the mainstream and challenging the perception that opened doors for other cosplayers. She will no doubt continue to create fantastical pieces of artwork, fantastic pieces of cosplay, and continue to work in the game industry, but this just goes to show that with the right look and the right time, you can leverage any hobby, no matter how geeky, into a solid career.